speaking to us. Uh, we are at Intersec uh, today and we are going to talk about uh, Toshiba's presence at the event. So can you briefly tell us about your participation at Intersec this year? Well, Intersec is a regional security event and it's a very popular event uh, from the last few years. We are seeing a lot of trends in the security industry here and this is a platform where you can showcase your latest technology and products uh, to various markets, right? You have customers coming in from the GCC region, from uh, mainly from Saudi, from Oman, then we have also from Africa, a lot of customers visiting us. So we can showcase our complete solution, uh, be it security solutions uh, on surveillance or also on the data center and cloud storage solutions. Okay, so what are your hero products at the event? Here we are showcasing a complete range of our hard drive solutions in the surveillance industry. We have dedicated and specialized products uh, for surveillance. That means previously people were using desktop hard drives, which is not recommended for surveillance because it needs 24 by 7 by 365. And it needs to withstand extreme temperature of this uh, region, right? You, because most of the cameras are outdoor and most of the DVRs are also placed in very uh, humid and hot conditions. And uh, we also have high buffers uh, in, our, in our camera storage uh, solutions. So these are the products which we offer to our customers who can really keep up with their surveillance storage demand. So uh, when we talk about uh, data storage for, uh, for uh, you know, surveillance and security market as well, what sort of major trends have you seen over the past couple of years? The major trends is that people have moved from the PC storage uh, solutions to dedicated uh, hard drive solutions for surveillance. And people are looking at to work for 24 by 7 by 365. A lot of government regulations to store these high definition content for at least six months. And many verticals, like now, uh, apart from just building and uh, schools, colleges, there are a lot of other security solutions which are coming in. Even in on your vehicles, you can start keeping the dashboard cameras and that also needs storage solutions. So various trends are coming up. Uh, there's a lot of face recognition software, there's analytics involved in this. So a lot of things need a storage space. We are talking about 165 zettabytes of data to be produced by 2026. And now moving into the data center solutions, we are looking at the potential of the global potential of uh, for data center. It's about $50 billion. And by 2026, it's going to be $100 billion on data center solution. And the trend is you can rent the data centers. So it's called the co locations data center, right? You can rent it for some time, use it for your applications, and then move out of that. For MIA region, the total potential for the data center market is around $10 billion by 2026. So there is a tremendous opportunity for data centers and cloud storage solutions, which every business is, like it or not, should implement it. Because the pandemic has really taught us how these solutions can really benefit our business. There was not a single day lost when, when this uh, pandemic of COVID happened, right? And the resilience was really fast. People could build up after we uh, put away the COVID and move forward. Okay. Uh, in terms of uh, data security policies, many countries are following their own policies, like Europe has GDPR. Yeah. We're also uh, you know, uh, hearing talks about mm. regional policies also coming yes. into effect, right? Yes. So is that going to majorly affect the way people use storage solutions and is it going to increase the demand as well? Yeah, many governments have put restrictions on hosting your data outside the country because of a lot of security reasons. And that's going to increase demand in country. It's not going to be skewed to one particular country. So you're going to have UAE have the potential, same potential in Saudi, in uh, Egypt, in uh, this part like Bahrain, Qatar, Oman. So each country will have the need for a good data center with surveillance solutions. And storage is the key because it's not anymore that people just store it for the sake of it. There's a lot of analytics done on the storage data, right? Businesses are making intelligent decisions based on the storage data. So data is now a big currency, okay. right? It's a major currency where businesses will benefit from it. In terms of your engagements with channel partners and customers mm -hmm. at the event, what are your expectations from the entire event? We work very closely with channel partners and distributors, uh, mainly with system integrators who are connecting to the customers. So they are the voice of our customers. So we get feedback, we work closely with them. We do a lot of trainings on our products and technologies. And uh, at Intersec, we look to partner with many more new uh, 
customers and especially the system integrators and solution providers from across the region so in terms of uh, regional initiatives for mm. your channel community and customers as well mm. uh, what sort of plans do you have for the next couple of months one of our important initiative is going to be build your own data center well this is a unique concept developed by toshiba gulf so here we are going to teach our system integrators and channel partners how to build a data center right because there are various ways to do there's a very costly solutions so we are going to teach them how to use uh, toshiba solutions and save about 30% in their investments the ro is going to be uh, really positive for them so build your own data center is the initiative we launched in uae we're going to roll it out in saudi and africa region so that's uh, going to be a tremendous uh, business opportunity for our, our channel partners frequent training programs on our products and technology is going to be there so that is there even at this intersect we have uh, a kind of a football uh, i'm not necessarily a football trivia it's a trivia where peop- the customers who come into a stand they go around the stand check out the products and solutions and they take a quiz right once they answer the quiz and if they do it uh, all correct answers not everybody is going to get odd correct if there are many uh, participants who have the correct answer we'll have a lot they're going to get a match football al real football which was used at the fifa 2022 as a as a prize so we're going to have two draws per day uh, one in the morning and one in the evening so customers can come check out the products and technology and also participate in this trivia so they they remember our products and technologies uh, thank you mr santosh for speaking to us nice having you with us today and uh, we look forward to speaking again thank you thank you